Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Apocalypse Phoenix with another video. I'm going to be breaking down the new show, The Penguin, coming out on HBO, as you can see right here. Let's get into it. Remember to like, share, and uh, follow. And we'll talk about the rest at the end, but Linktree will be in the description. Let's get into The Penguin. I have given you everything. Yeah, you have Say you'll do it. You mean it. Because you love me. Say it. Say it. I'll do it. All right, I'm already, I'm going to hop into it already. <clears throat> but here's the problem with single moms. What a lot of them do is they like to make their son into their, like, you know, their, the man of the house. They call them pops. You know, and things like that. You'll see a lot of single women do this. And as the as their son gets older, the mom relies on them more and more as as like a surrogate, like husband almost. It's weird. Um, but what they do is they get the child to see them as the most important thing in life. And so they as the man grows older, he just he gives more and more care to his mother. Because she raised him, because she she did all those things, she worked hard, and she done all those things, and, and trust and believe, she gonna put that guilt trip on them, you know. Especially if it's a single mom and they only have one kid, and it's a it's a boy, they guilt tripping that boy to be mama's little boy, her little prince, you know, do everything that mom says so that when she's older, this guy's gonna be stuck on her, and she gonna be able to manipulate him. That's why a lot of you know, women don't like mama's boys because, you know, mom says this, do that. And yes, you want to be there for your mom and you want to take care of her. But <clears throat> as as you become an adult, your parents, number one, need to be getting themselves set up right and teaching you what's right so that you can build at a younger age. But parents should be helping you out financially. You shouldn't be thinking that about taking care of your parents the older they get they should they need to be setting themselves up financially as they're raising you as a child so that when you become an adult it's not on you to take care of them necessarily they they have their savings they have a retirement that they did the right things to make sure that they would be a huge burden on you you know but that's not what happens here they 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 basically make the their son their husband and the child is like you know i'm gonna buy my mama a house i'm gonna take care of my mama i got my mama and of course those things are good but like when you're an adult like and again your parents are supposed to be the ones that are showing you how to become an adult so they're supposed to be showing you financial responsibility and budgeting and things like that so it's on them for them to learn if nobody taught them they need to they need to learn so it's all backwards now people um now people that plan ahead and want to make sure that their children do well they do that they make sure that they get themselves together financially so that when they're older their children their children can focus on the children that they're now going to have you know hey hey son hey daughter you don't have to worry about us we got retirement we got our money, we got savings, we got our home, our properties and stuff like that. We're good. Focus on your children, their college funds, getting yourself set up so that when your children are older, they don't then have to take care of you. You know, you're thinking about leaving stuff behind for them. You're not having kids so that they'll take care of you. It's, it's all backwards. And a lot of times that's how women are. <clears throat> so... And you, you see it a lot now, and you're going to see even more of it. Just There's going to be these wimpy-ass dudes, or there's going to be these dudes that are so fixated on their mom. It, it's it's going to be crazy. Everything you hide about me is true. I'm just a poor kid. Born into nothing. You just got something to prove. Like you. Like you. And there, here we go. The token, the token black guy. 
you know, because in, in a lot of these shows, and I've seen, I somebody else did a video about it too. Now, most sitcoms, it's mainly white folks, and then they'll have the black guy, you know. Then there's like, if it's a all black, <clears throat> all black sitcom or, or television show, then it's mainly all black. They they don't need the token white person on a on a black show, but you know on a white show in a show where it's mainly white people, they gotta have the one token black guy. And this is what I hate when they talk about diversity. It's black white black white. Maybe you know they throw an Asian in there a lot, and or they throw some like an Indian person in there or, or Islam. They always leave out the Mexicans. You know the second biggest. I believe we're the second biggest uh, demographic in America, but it, it's mainly black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, Asian, and then, like I said, Indian or Muslim. Uh, Mexicans just kind of tossed to the side, and that's why I know it's fake diversity. It's just pandering. They're just pandering to whoever they feel is going to be the loudest and, and give them the most money, you know? <clears throat> So that's why you don't see a real, true, diverse, you know, diverse, uh, you know, that's why you don't see real diversity on the screen. It's because they only care about those major two groups and then those two smaller groups and, you know, and then LGBTQIA plus and all that crap, you know, it's all these people and then the Mexicans, you know, so it's like they're not really talking about equality and equity and all that stuff. It's just buzzwords. It's just things that make you feel good. But when you actually look and see, you know, <clears throat> there's there's hella Latino people, Spanish people in New York. Why is it the a black guy? Black guy, black guy, black guy, black guy, white guy, black guy, white guy, black guy, white guy, black guy, white guy, black guy. You know, you really don't see the Mexican being represented on TV. Now, when it's Cinco de Mayo or September 16th, you know, and Canelo's getting ready to box, you know, just like we just saw, you know, UFC, UFC Noche, you know, oh, you know, uh, freaking Canelo got to box every step near September 16th, the Mexican independence holiday. Oh, go Mexico, go Mexico, Noche. Oh, it's Cinco de Mayo, get your Coronas out. Oh, hombre, 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 mis tacos, yo, yo, yo. And then the rest of the year, it's like, Shh, shh, be quiet. It's African American month. Be quiet. It's Pride month. Be quiet. It's Native American Heritage month. Be quiet. It's Asian Heritage month. Be quiet. It's it's these other people's months. Like, you you got your two little days. You know, you got your little bit of representation. We gave you guys Blue Beetle. Come on, man. Like, like, what do you Mexicans want from us? Uh, equal representation. You know, or proper representation. Because right now, what they're doing. Black people are 13% of the population, but they're uh, shown 66% of the time on TV. White people are about 60% of the population. That's dropping maybe 54% now, but 54% to 60% white people are the population. They're getting shown about 40% on TV. So it's they're not even showing you right. Mexicans, second biggest um, group in America at like 20%. And rising twenty to twenty four percent somewhere around there, you hardly really don't see us on TV. It's like we're invisible, bro. <clears throat> so all this diversity crap, it's stupid. Uh, I mean, I'm glad that more people of color are getting work, but again, it's mainly it's mainly black actors, uh, Asian actors, Indian or Muslim actors. You, you're not really seeing Mexican actors, you know. I've seen stuff. <laughs> the whole world, they treat us like, like we don't matter. No, they don't, man. Everywhere you, everywhere you look, and even since I've been alive, everywhere you look, you know, be kind, you know, come together as a people, lift up, lift up, affirmative action. We got this program for you, Welfare Section 8. Free health care, um, child care vouchers, WIC vouchers, uh, EBT. Like, what the hell are you talking about? They, the world's against us. Um, if you're going to have that outlook, then look at it like this. The world is against everybody. Everybody has to fight. 
Everybody has to work hard. Everybody has trials and tribulations that they have to overcome. Just because your trials and tribulations don't look like somebody else's doesn't mean that they're not going through things. You don't think somebody born into a million a millionaire family, you don't think that they still have to show up to the job on time? You think that they have to be confident? You think they have to be competent? They have to show up, show up, show up every day on time, on time, get work done. It's not easy for them. Yes, they kind of maybe, you know, had a little easier way in because they were born into a family like that. But it's nothing that hard work, moving smart, learning the right things, making the right connections. It's nothing that that can't get you. It's nothing that that can't get you. It's showing up every day. It's doing the work. <clears throat> it's looking for ways to move up in that world. So the world is harsh and unfair to everybody. You don't it doesn't owe you anything. You don't deserve anything. You earn it. We earn things in life, okay? So you have to get up. You have to do the work. Do what you don't want to do. Get over your damn feelings, all right? The world is not against you, you know? If it, if it is, it, then it's against everybody. But there's so many programs and so many people that want to help. To have that mindset, mindset is just stupid. It's that victim mentality. Get out of the victim mentality. That's what's holding you back. Once you see that there's opportunity around and it's for everybody, you will then work on the things to get that opportunity, to seize that opportunity, all right? And it's going to take hard work. It's going to take being ruthless sometimes. It's going to be being honorable and respectable. It's going to take a lot out of you, more than you ever thought which is why most people don't do it, but it is worth it. So keep on trying, keep on trying. Get rid of that weak ass mindset. Get into the winning mindset, get into a legacy mindset that's building and leaving things for the people that are coming after you. Hopefully it's your children. ha. <laughs> <laughs> And then here we go with the feminism. You know, we, need, we need that strong woman in character. We need that strong that. woman. Call so again, hey, when, you know, he's had a crazy life, uh, built everything from the mud. He got it out, out the dirt. Straight up talking to a, a woman. It should be you in there. You know, women have way easier lives than men. They're given everything. They're given the benefit of, uh, benefit of the doubt. They make We make sure we make room on the table for them. We'll move over and get a chair so that they can sit at the table and be there, you know. But they, they don't put in the work like we do. They don't have to put in the work like a man does to get where they're at. And all of this crap about these women, about this woman, Sophia, who's going to be the, the main antagonist. You know, they're going to show that she's been through hardships. They're going to show blah, blah, blah. But all, all she really is is a Mary Sue. She's so smart. She's so strong. She's so cunning. She's so violent. Even more than the Penguin, who's been through so much. But this pampered, this pampered, uh, you know, little girl who had to go through some diversity because of the Penguin. You know, now she's fucking just... Sorry for cussing. Now, but now she's crazy. Now she's just crazy and she's after revenge and she's on par with the penguin, you know, even though she led a way easier life and was shown and given everything, but she's just as cunning and just as violent as everybody else's, every other man in the room. Sure. You know, this is the thing. These, these things take me out of the story when it's like, yes, I know I'm watching fantasy and all that, but there's just, there's like, you know, make believe. And then there's just like damn fantastical world of rainbow dust. And unicorn farts, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just, there's no way I'm wrapping my head around that. I just can't. And, and when they do things like this with the feminism, with these women, trying to make them seem like the, like, like the crazy villains, like the one in uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, who, that chick weighed like 100 pounds, the antagonist in the Marvel, in the Marvels, like the hammer was bigger than her. I'm not scared of these punk ass 100 pound women. Even if she was a 200 pound woman, I wouldn't be scared. Because I know a 14-year-old boy, on average, would knock her the hell out. So what the, why am I scared of her cunningness? Men are way more cunning. We've been planning, you know, uh, tactics. And as we grow up, we, we work on our tactics and things like that. It's just born and bred in us. Could a woman be good at some things? Yeah. But damn it, she's going to have to do a whole lot to get on the level of a man. And so most of the time, she won't ever make it. And, and that's why I hate these feminist, these feminist damn uh, roles that they keep doing, man. 
all they're doing is swap putting in a woman like the Pandaverse on South Park Pandaverse. All they're doing is they're switching out a man for a woman. That's a man's role. It's a man's role. That's a character for a man. I don't know what they do. They put a woman in it. And what is that? What does that do? It makes it lame. It makes it lame. And then, yeah, most of the time, too, she's gay. So she's a hard battling woman that loves women. It's so freaking stupid. Stop pushing that whack ass agenda and give us good stories with good characters. And villains cannot be women, man. <laughs> freaking it's stupid. Yes, he does. You know, and it's funny, man. I, I, you know, I'm reading the Bible, and in the Bible, it's women are the helper of the men. Adam was first. God saw that he was alone, put him asleep, got a rib from him, and created a helper for him. A helper. And that's the role that women have been since time immemorial. They've been there to help us. Like, I, I, I saw this short, this comedian, he was like, Yo, you women are great on the timing of, of feminism and, and equality. You know, about 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 years ago, you, you know, you we know were hunting wildebeest, mammoths, you know fighting off saber-toothed tigers and shit. Helper. Women were okay with like, nah, bro, go ahead, go do the hunting. I'm good with collecting these boots and these berries. We look I know, bring, other bring me the rabbits. I'll just gonna get the crap out of the rabbits for you. We will make sure your dinner is ready. We're going to make sure the house, the TP or whatever is clean and nice. So when you guys get back, it's all taken care of. We got you. I was dying. He's like, you know, once you guys get some light and some AC, some police officers, it's like, no, we can do everything a man can do. We're equal. Equality, equality, equality. And it's like, you guys picked the right time. You were call, calling for that equality crap. Like I said, a couple thousand years ago when we had to fend for ourselves, had to have combat, arrows, spears, and all that. Even even in the even in the 1800s with the cowboys, you know what I'm saying? You got a problem with me. Well, we 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 handling it right here, bro. We handling it right here. It's a duel, 10 paces, turn around, bow. No woman. Women weren't talking about equality back then. But again, as soon as the AC was invented to put to the the buildings, you know, as soon as these these streets got safe and policed with policemen. You know, make, making the, safe, the streets safe. As soon as you got all these luxuries and, and, and safeties and, and after men conquered the world, well, at least our parts of the world, the Western world, there's still some crazy ass parts on earth. But for the most part, in the Western world, we tamed, we tamed our world, made it safe. And then the first thing women do is like, we don't need you guys. Well, let's round up all the women that say that, throw them to the Amazon, and, and I'm sure they'll do great. You know, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Ha! Yeah. I don't agree it. Get her. Get her, penguin. Get her. Do to her what women do to men all the time. Like, a woman can can say that you're the father. She can get, she can throw you in jail. She can get your money. And then when they find out, hey, I'm not the father, and she knew it, nothing happens to her. So no accountability, no regret from women. Why not Why not let it happen one time? Way to go, Penguin. Like, I think I am going to watch the show because um, it looks pretty good. Um, and I, I just won't let the little stupid, the little stupid things get in, get in the way of, a, of the show. But it sucks that that's what we have to do nowadays. We have to we have to get a show that that's pretty good. It's sprinkled with the feminism, but it, you know, but they're not pushing. They're not like shoving it down your mouth, so it can still be a good show. That sucks. That a good show still has a lot of that crappy feminist uh, LGBT crap thrown in there, but just not as much. That's a good show nowadays. This crap is thrown in there, but just not as much. The shows that suck, you know, it's like the message and, and all that is is there the whole entire time. Like, that's Star Wars. That, those things are just garbage, man. Garbage. Like they didn't take their medication. Was it worth you know, it? That they, they're writing those stories. Like, what you did to me. You know what? I don't regret uh, what I got. Playing but, with our family. So, you know, so do you deal with the consequences? You know, the one time a woman has to, has to, you know, freaking deal with some consequences that she didn't do. Oh, and look 
What happens? Look what she does. She's out for revenge. She's out for blood. You ain't gonna do that to me, damn it. But men happens to them every single day, and not one woman bats an eyelash. No, not even a crocodile, fake little crocodile tear for a man. You know, get taken advantage of by lied to by women. It's like, you dummy, you should have been so dumb. You know, but for women, it's like, oh, you poor little thing. And she's out for revenge, and it's justified. Get out of here, man. And that's why you got to sit back and observe a lot of times. Don't be the one talking. Da, 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 da. Sit back and observe, man. See what's going on. Then you can start coming up with plans. You know, when you start talking and everything, and you're not going to hear what other people have to say, and you're going to be out the loop. How cliched is that? There's a storm coming, man. That is... We, we need to come up with something better. But it means the same things. There's a storm coming. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's pretty good. But if somebody can find out some, can you find another way to say that? Put it in the comments there. You know, there's a storm coming. The tidal wave is on its way. Uh, you know, once you get the ball rolling down the hill, it's no stopping it. I don't know. I, I guess. I guess that that's uh, there's a storm coming. All right. So, you know, they're going to go with the diversity and, and get a black guy to, to be in the Penguin series. And all he's doing is having to commit crimes. Way to go. Way to go on the diversity, you know. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. All right, all right. So what you think about that? What you think about Penguin here? Booyah. What do you think about the Penguin? Am I right? Am I wrong? You know, sh should I watch it first before giving my opinion? Probably. But I like, I, like to, I like to watch something that I haven't seen before. Give my unadulterated opinion without any kind of... Um, any other information, whatever, I like to give how I see it. And then after I watch it, whatever, I can be like, I was right or I was wrong. Um, so let me know what you think about this video. Are you going to watch The Penguin? Have you watched it? Put something in the comments. Let me know if you like it. And um, also, too, guys, my link tree is in the description. 
Hit that link tree. You'll take you to all my social media and music streaming platforms. I'm everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Tidal, Deezer, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, X. You know, I'm on Kick. I'm on Twitch. I'm on Rumble. I'm everywhere. Hit that link tree and you will find me. There's also uh, links for my books. I have over 30 uh, plus books. And there are also affiliate affiliate links on there. It'll save you some money if you're looking to sign up with DistroKid. Um, you know, go ahead and use that link. It works out for everybody. So remember to hit that like button, hit the follow button, hit the share button. I appreciate everybody coming into the video. The people around the world, Mexico, Canada, uh, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, Dominican Republic. There's Latvia. There's Croatia. There's Russia. There's... Um, Ah, it said India doesn't give me the states, but India, uh, Sudan, you know, there's people all over the world watching. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. God bless you. Continue to uh, keep checking out my videos. I will continually be coming with videos. This is what I do. I love it. This is my therapy. So have a good day. God bless you. And I'll check you out in the next video. Peace.